All right, guys, I want to go over bridge control or what we might call head and arm control when I'm working with a partner in Chisau. First one is the arm drag. The arm drag is simply grasping to the outside, pulling in and across, and then closing the distance for control. If I just leave it out here, he can fight for his arm back, he can hit me, okay? Now that simple technique, if I'm in a little closer, I grab, I may just need to fade my body back or even bend my body a tiny bit to get through. So that's the simple mechanics. I'll put this hand down. One arm moves to the inside and grasps under the elbow. The other hand drags and helps the other hand drag across. Once I have exposure to the outside, I step in. Okay. Uh, if I don't set it up properly, he's not going to be able to, uh, I'm not going to be able to do it. He's not going to let me, so don't let me. So without setting it up, it's very easy for him to short circuit, cancel out my technique. So I'm going to start by going to uh, the arm that my foot is resting on, and I'll set that up with an underhand punch. So I strike, this takes his attention, at the same time I'm pulling this hand in and down and across. Here. So go ahead and stop me. See, so I strike, pull and take across, and now I've got the size of the body to hit or defend. He's going to try and stop me when I go for the arm drag. So I strike and pull through. The key is to start this arm moving across the center line with the initiation of the punch. It makes it much easier to get to. Similarly, even though I'm on the inside, I'm going to two sow here. So when I strike, I'm already pulling and I whip it around and come through. The next one, we're going to use gone sow or a gone a cow and gone motion to get to the outside gate. So I'm going to cross my hands like this on top. Go ahead and put this one down. Cross, push down and across here, and use this hand to take the outside. I can stay here. I can move into various control positions, okay? Similarly here, this has less of a cross and more of a double jaw position. I push down and across and come in, okay? What's important is the setup. So again, I strike and I pull, and I move to the outside and I take the hand. And the other side. Okay. And then the last one is bringing in the bong sao from the outside, or we could think of it as like a quan sao style of movement. So from here, I come to the top and I trap the arm with this hand. And then I use the bong from the outside to take control and to own the outside gate, to be in that T-shaped position. Strike here, there's my bong position, okay? So we'll go through it at speed. I hit. Okay, so all these are easy setups. Uh, you're not just gonna be able to grab these out of thin air, you have to set them up. Okay, so again, there's three. Strike to the arm drag. Strike, cross the hands using Gon Sao to own the outside gate. Or using Bong Sao to own the outside gate. From here, there's any numbers of throws, takedowns, or just clean hitting that you can do.